Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a 20 minute lower body workout that will strengthen your legs and your glutes. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. For today's class, we will be using a mini resistance band, but don't worry if you don't have one because you'll still be able to enjoy the class. Let's put our band to the side to start and just alternate pulling one knee in towards our chest, just to warm up our legs. Eight more. Really pull your knee in as close to your chest as you can. And four more. Three, two, and one. Step your feet out mat distance apart with your toes turned out. Inhale, squat down, exhale, press up. Inhale, squat, exhale, press. Eight more. Make sure that your knees are stacked over your toes, that you're sending your glutes back and you're drawing your navel in, keeping your spine nice and straight. Really press through your heels to stand up, squeezing your glutes. Two more. And last one. Let's add a knee lift now. So squat down, lift your right knee. Squat, lift your left knee. Inhale, squat, exhale, lift. You have six more. Really warming up our body here, warming up our lower body. And two more. Last one. Take your hands behind your head and let's just alternate knees. You lift and lift. Nice, exhale and exhale. Keep drawing your belly button in, standing up nice and tall. Really working our legs here. Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four. Lift them a little higher. Two and one. Excellent job. Let's come into a wide second position now with your toes turned out. Draw your navel in, reach your arms out by your side. Inhale, plie down, exhale, press up. Inhale, plie, exhale, press. Eight more. So in our plies, we're really focusing on pressing our knees back, keeping our spine super straight, moving like an elevator down and up. That way you're really using your inner thighs. Let's do three more, two, and one. Hold low in your plie, lift your left heel, lower than your right and lower. Eight more, and seven. Keep bending into your knees, five, four, relax your shoulders, two more and last one let's reach our arms up to the sky and take a little pulses down and down just eight more seven really lengthen through your spine five four three two and one straighten your legs bring your arms in front really squeeze your glutes squeeze your legs and lift your heels up then lower them down. So inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Keep going, eight more. This is a bit of a balance challenge, especially if you're on the sand like me. I really want you to engage through your leg muscles, squeeze your glutes and draw your navel in. Focus on a point in front of you for your balance. Just two more, you can do it. Last one, hold your heels high. Just breathe for me, really engage through your legs. Five more seconds, four, you've got it. Three, two, and one. Whew. Lower your heels, reach your arms out by your side. And let's inhale, plie down, exhale, press up. Nine more, down and up maybe bending into your knees a little bit more this time you've got it make sure your knees are stacking over your toes 
and you're keeping your spine super straight. On this next one, hold in your plie, lift both heels high, and then control them down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Keep your knees nice and bent, really working through our inner thighs. Five more. Four. Keep your focus. Three. Two more. You've got it. And last one. Lower your heels, reach your arms up to the sky and take little pulses for 10 and nine, eight, seven, little lower, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Good job. Shake those legs out. And now let's bring our heels together with our toes turned out. Draw your navel in and bend your knees. Extend your left leg forward, reach your arms in front, and let's lift our leg up and down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Just eight more. So really make sure that your leg is turned out and that your inner thigh is pointed up towards the sky. Focus on standing up nice and tall, keeping your beautiful posture. Now on this next one, hold your leg extended. Let's take little lifts for 10, nine, really reach through your toes, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Excellent. Step your left foot forward, coming into your curtsy. Make sure that your legs are still turned out. Inhale, curtsy down, exhale, press up. Inhale, curtsy, exhale, press. Eight more. Make sure your weight is equally distributed on both feet, so you're really powering through both of your legs. You've got it nice straight spine. Let's do two more. And last one, hold low, reach your arms forward, little challenge. Shoot your weight forward, kick your right leg back, and then return to your curtsy. So you kick your right leg back and curtsy. Eight more. Make sure that your left knee stays bent the whole entire time. That way you're really working your supporting glute. Reach through the crown of your head as you shift your weight forward, as you reach back with your right toes. And last one. Hold in your curtsy, reach your arms up. You guessed it, 10 pulses. Down and down. Just eight more. Seven six five four three two and a one well done guess what let's do that on the other side so bring your heels together with your toes turned out bend your knees and extend your right leg forward reach your arms in front exhale lift your right leg inhale lower exhale lift inhale lower Really try to straighten through your right leg as much as you can, engaging through your inner thigh muscles. Keep standing up nice and tall, shoulders down and back and belly engaged. And last one, hold your leg lifted, 10 lifts up and up, four, eight, seven, really point through those toes, five, Four, little higher, three, two, and a one. Excellent, step your right foot forward. Let's come into our curtsy. Make sure your toes are still turned out. Inhale, curtsy down, exhale, press up. Inhale, curtsy, exhale, press. Eight more, and seven. Keeping your weight distributed through both feet, really using the strength of both legs here. Let's do three more, two, you've got it, last one. Let's hold low in our curtsy now, reach your arms forward, shoot forward, kick your left leg back, then return to your curtsy. Exhale as you kick, inhale as you curtsy. You've got it, keep your right leg nice and bent, really working through your supporting glute. 
reach through your back toes as you reach the crown of your head forward finding that nice straight line with your body two more and last one hold low in your curtsy reach your arms up 10 pulses let's go down and down for eight seven six five four three two and one Woo. hopefully you felt that in your legs okay let's work our glutes a bit more now so grab a hold of your band and place the band around your shins just above your ankles then shuffle yourself to the left side of your mat with your feet hip distance apart in parallel bend your knees slightly hinge forward from your hips and really draw your navel in let's take some side steps over to the right three times and then three times over to the left. So this is really going to get into the outside of our glutes. It shouldn't take long before you start to feel them screaming at you. Make sure that your knees are bent, that you're drawing your navel in, and that you're really trying to step out nice and wide so you feel that resistance on the band. You're doing really well. You're about halfway there. Keep breathing. Just two more. And last one. Now let's stop in the center of our mat. Bend your knees a little bit more and hinge forward. Extend your left foot back and then center then extend your right foot and bring it back to center. Keep going. Just seven more. Really try to extend that leg back as straight as you can, but stay in your hinge, really bending your knees. You should really feel this one. I know I was. You've got it. This is your last one. Well done. Okay, slide the band up around your thighs now and step out into a squat position with your toes turned out. Draw your navel in and reach your arms forward. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, press up. Inhale, squat. Exhale, press. So make sure that your knees are tracking over your toes and that you're pressing your knees back, finding the resistance on the band. Really draw your navel in and sit your glutes down nice and low. Only a few more. And last one. Well done. Hold low in your squat now and just tap one foot in at a time. So we're just tapping side to side. Try to stay as low as you can. So keep sending your glutes back and really step out to the side as wide as you can. Let's do 10 more. Nine, you've got it. Eight, keep breathing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Let's return back to our squat position and this time we'll take a little pulse down at the bottom. So you squat down and down, press up, squat down and down, press up, eight more. I really want you to power through your heels as you press yourself up, focusing on engaging through your glutes. Keep pressing your knees out, finding the resistance on the band. You're doing really well. Inhale as you squat down. Exhale as you press up. Let's do two more. You're almost there. And last one. Your glutes should be on fire. I know mine were. Okay, let's come into a lunge now with your right leg forward left foot back inhale lunge down exhale press up inhale lunge exhale press eight more so for these ones we are slightly hinging forward from the hips 
just so that we can feel that burn through our right glue a little bit more. But make sure that you're still drawing your navel in, keeping your spine straight. You've got four more. And three, make sure your right knee is stacked over your toes. And last one, hold low in your lunge. Step your left foot forward into a squat, then step it back to your lunge. Nine more. Keep your right knee super bent for me, embracing the shake and the burn in your right glute. You're doing really well. Let's do three more. And two, sit a little lower. Last one. Now hold low in your lunge, straighten your spine, reach your arms up. 10 pulses down and down. Just eight more, seven, six, five, four, little lower, three, two, and a one. You guessed it, other side. Step your right foot back, preparing for your lunge. Make sure your spine is nice and straight and slightly hinge forward from your hips. Inhale, lunge down, exhale, press up. Inhale, lunge, exhale, press really powering through both legs here. You can do it. Make sure your left knee is stacked over your left toes. Just four more. Inhale, lunge, exhale, press. Two more. And last one, hold low in your lunge. Step your right foot forward and then step back to your lunge. Forward and back. Keep your left knee super bent. Can you squat down a little bit lower? Can you lunge a little bit lower? You've got this. Class is almost over, so stay with me. Just four more. And three, keep breathing. Two, and a one, hold a low in your lunge, straighten your spine, reach your arms up, 10 pulses, down and down. Just eight more, seven, six, really reach through your fingertips, four, three, two, and a one, whoo! Okay, coming into our last little series, you can do it, stay with me. Let's return to our squat position with our toes turned out. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, press up. Nine more. This should be a little bit more difficult this time round because your glutes are super activated. So I really want you to keep your focus. Focus on pressing through your heels, engaging your glutes as you press out of your squat. Just four more. And three, two, and a one. Hold the low in your squat, draw your navel in, press your knees out and out for eight, seven. Keep shifting your weight back into your heels. Four more, three, two, and a one. Hold your knees out, final move, pulse down and down. You've got it, eight more. Seven, really press those knees out. Five, four, three, breathe, two, and a one. Excellent job, everyone. My gosh. Okay, let's take that band away from our thighs, pop it to the side, and come down onto your mat for a quick stretch. Extend your right leg forward and bend your left knee open. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Feeling a really nice release through the back of your right leg and also through your left hip. Then lift your chest, cross your left foot over your right thigh and bend your right knee in to feel a nice stretch for your glute. Make sure that your left foot is flexed and that you're sitting up as tall as you can. Carefully release and switch sides. 
extend your left leg, bend your right knee open, inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Then lift your chest, cross your right foot over your left thigh, bend your left knee in, feeling a nice stretch for your right glute. That was a really challenging lower body class. So these stretches should feel super nice. Okay, carefully release. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart and bring your feet slightly forward. Take a nice inhale, then exhale round your spine and bring your forehead close to your feet. Feeling a nice release for your spine and for your hip flexors. Then lift your chest, cross your legs and let's finish class like always with one last big inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, lower your hands to prayer. Thank you so much everyone for joining me for today's class. I hope you enjoyed it and that you felt the burn. If you want to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I am wishing you the most beautiful day.